Yo, what's up guys? Joker bringing you another video for Once Human. This is going to be an introduction to farming in Once Human and show you a couple of examples of how you can get a farm up and running as well as uh, start getting it automated for you, making it a lot more hands off. Because like I mentioned, end game food is incredibly powerful, right? With the dishes like this, where it has the ability of just making gathering a joke, right? So let's go ahead and get into it. Starting off is going to be memetics that are required slash highly suggested. A planting node in the logistics memetics tree is going to be required. You can't plant crops without this planting area, without the loamy soil, right? So this is required, but much more uh, suggested is going to be getting down to the planter boxes for two reasons. It gives you access to compost, which is really good for turning junk into um for turning junk into something more useful, like the compost that gives you more of a yield from your plants. And then the planter boxes, just because like it says it, you don't want your base to look like shit. It makes it a lot easier to line everything up and look a lot nicer if you had the planter boxes. You're also going to want to have the rain collection system and water storage because you are going to have to water your plants. For some reason, when it naturally rains, it doesn't seem to really irrigate your plants that well. So you are going to want to have the water collection system so you can water them yourself. You're going to want to have water filters, water pumps, grow lights, and an automated irrigation system. Those are going to be one not technically needs, but they will increase the efficiency and quality of life like an insane amount, right? But at a bare minimum, all you will need is the planter box or the loamy soil and the deviant that I showcased in my last video how to get. Uh, well, not my last video, but my last last video is Rain Boy. He's going to go ahead and irrigate your crops for you, right? Um, extremely, extremely helpful pal. pal. <laughs> extremely, extremely helpful deviant. Uh, he will go ahead and make sure that your, that your plants are doing well, right? So early on, it's going to be this, like I mentioned. It's just going to be this one planter box, maybe up until three. Because the problem with Rain Boy is he only works on one crop plot at a time. Uh, so you will have to get one Rain Boy for every crop plot you do have. It's not really efficient at all, but it is an option, right? That's the entirety of the purpose that I set that up. Next is going to be what I suggest, right? This is going to be like really what I say is a bare minimum to have a pseudo automated farm just because this does 90% of it for you. All you have to do in a case like this is plant the seed and pick the crop. Now, that being said, there is a deviant that you can get that will automate that process for you. Its name is Grow Shroom, and you get it from picking mushrooms uh, or a deviated mushroom. It seems like it may be um, wild mushrooms only, so you may have to explore the open world. I personally do not have one yet. That's why I'm saying um, I, I can't speak with certainty. Uh, I've been growing mushrooms. I've grown a couple of deviated mushrooms, and at this point I have like grown over a hundred mushrooms and I haven't gotten one. So I feel like it really is only open world mushrooms where you can get him from, but he will go ahead and he will automate the farming process for you either even further by clicking up uh, by clicking by picking and planting for you. Yeah. Moving into how this little setup works, right? How my recommended setup works is you're going to want everything that I mentioned, right? In the memetic skill tree, you're going to have the rain water collection system. This has to be on a higher elevation than your water tank. For whatever reason, gravity does affect the water going from the rain collector to the storage tank. 
um, it has a tro it has trouble doing that horizontally, right? Uh, so you do have to have it at a higher level. However, all of this other stuff could be on the same level as the water tank. It seems to have no problem moving water between facilities horizontally, like my water purifiers over here have no problem getting to my irrigators over here. It's only the rainwater collector and the storage tank that seem to have this whole, I have to be on top of you type thing. Now, like I said, rainwater collector to water storage to water pump, right? The water pump is not required. Like I said, you can put all of this on the same level as that. Uh, but in once human, you tend to want to build more vertically anyways, because in late game with the base raids, you're going to want to have a tighter, more condensed base that's just taller as opposed to a wider because the spawn for those base raids kind of suck ass and NPCs will spawn in your base without you noticing and just start destroying your shit. So if you have a more condensed, smaller base, it's going to be easier to manage that. Uh, so that's why I suggest the water pump, right? I'm using this with the lowest level solar generator, which is my bad. I did not mention that, but it is going to be over here as well. It's going to be the solar generator, this very base one, and this is going to be needed. You only need one to power this. Granted, if when you scale this, you're obviously going to need more. And on a base level, um, you can have four, right? So you can have a decently sized farm while still powering everything else at your base. But I wanted to use only one and I wanted to use the base level uh, generator to show that, hey, you could set this up because this irrigation system and this light hit like a two by two or a three by three. So this one would actually fuel like three or four uh, I, I want to say up to six plots, really. I, I haven't fully tested it, but I do know it has an AOE because in here, I only have three irrigation systems and it's able to water all of my crops. The lights, I have a little bit too many because I uh, am lazy uh, is the honest answer. As you can see, they're not even lined up eff effectively. So I could have significantly less grow lights as well but I'm just lazy. So let's go ahead and move on from there. We went rain collector, we went water storage, and we went water pump. We explained how all that worked. We showed that you only need the base level solar generator to run your water pump. Now from your water storage tank, you're going to need it to be connected to a water purifier. The reason for this is because of the fact that you can irrigate your crops with w multiple different types of water, right? But you can only put purified water into the automated irrigation system. So if you're not using this and you're using rain boys or you're self, um, self irrigating, then you don't have to do that, but, uh, you will need a purifier if you're using the irrigation system because it only takes purified water. And that's essentially how you would have it set up, right? The reason why I suggest the grow light and the irrigation system is naturally on its own, it seems to be quite flawed. Um, natural light doesn't give plants uh, enough light, like for whatever reason, uh, and especially since I guess it rains so much in one's human, um, that it, it's just better to have the grow lights and make sure your crops grow much more efficiently. Same thing with the automated irrigation facility is it just is going to make sure that you have an optimized irrigation. If you have rain boys as well, they will definitely help. But this is going to be more of like that level 20 plus range setup to when you start farming, right? So the first thing is going to be like as early as like level five, you're going to go ahead and just pick up the memetic for the planter and the compost bin. And you're going to be able to do that quick as fuck. Um, but it's going to be incredibly inefficient. 
the next level, you're going to have Rain Boy by this point because I highly suggest him as a uh, deviant because he's just super good, right? So you're going to go ahead. and Like I said in my previous video, I showed you how to farm him and where you can get him. And he's going to make sure that your plants are always fully irrigated. This can be your solution prior to the automatic irrigation system. But I suggest the irrigation system and the light just in case you have multiple crop plots. You don't have to worry about getting multiple rain boys. I still suggest having a couple of rain boys because like I said, they're super, super, super helpful. Uh, and then moving over to my end game farm right now. Uh, I have, what is this? One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, I have like a dozen uh, crop plots and I have four power generators. I have my rain collectors set up right here. And I have these set up the exact same way that this is set up. So this is how it, uh, I would just, how I just scaled it effectively, right? I'm using a much higher level irrigator and I, I'm sorry, not irrigator, uh, water purifier than the base level one. This takes a lot more energy, but it also does like double the, um, it also does double the amount of work. So that's why it takes more energy. And so I have rain collectors. I have my water tanks down there. I have my water pump right here. So it goes boom, 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 boom. And then these are pumping the water over here to my irrigation system my automatic irrigators and i have um like i said i only have three set up and they manage to have everything fully watered a hundred percent of the time so i want to say it is a three by three something like that uh the growing lights themselves i want to say they're a smaller aoe they seem to have like an awkward ass hitbox where it's something more like a two by two. So you will need more grow lights than you uh, have irrigation systems. But the alternative is just not having the grow lights and having them in the sun. Um, like I said, that is less effective. Uh, things that are in the sun can still hit the 100% natural lighting, but it, it takes it much longer the, to hit it than the grow lights. So that's why I have that set up like that. If I was going to change this and min max it, I would add, I would move my planter boxes around and add an additional row, right? Because I could probably get like another 12 plus planters in here just by min maxing it, but I'm lazy and inefficient as you can see from this grow light which i don't even know what the fuck that's hitting but um yeah that's pretty much it hopefully this video is relatively short what are we looking at oh my god it's 13 minutes i'm so sorry dude i was trying to keep this video short but i also wanted to showcase like how you can scale it deviance that you can use and stuff like that but yeah don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to stay up to date with this and future content. And until next time, take care. Oh, real quick, one more thing. Uh, Deadman mode for old school RuneScape starts tomorrow. And then the week after that, Path of Exiles League starts. So there is going to be a decent pause on content because I'm going to be playing both of those quite a lot. Um, but I have to wait for the season to continue anyways. Like right now I'm battle pass level 74. Um, I can show like my crossbow setup uh, in another video, but I have to wait for the season to advance for this anyways. So the next time that I come back, it is probably going to be week four, right? That'll give me time to get stuff done in Path of Exile and RuneScape. Week four or five, right? Um, to go ahead and do everything, showcase more guides, stuff like that. And in the downtime here and there, I'm definitely going to pump out more guides too. Uh, but yeah, uh, tell me what you would like to see. Tell me what you're struggling with. And I can definitely throw together a guide for you because at this point, I'm fairly confident in my knowledge in Once Human where I know how majority, right? Where like the vast majority of stuff works because I currently have 62 hours in the game. But yeah, until next time, take care.